Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, uh, I'm actually going to be showing you something a little bit different. So something that's pretty cool that you can use on your website called, uh, it's called Clippy. Now, uh, I'm actually on the website of Bennett Feely at the moment, and he has a few nifty little tools on his site. Um, and I discovered this uh, just recently when I was searching for uh, just a solution for a problem I was working on. And I found this Clippy tool here. He actually has a few tools here which might be worth ex exploring. So um, well, first of all, if you want to check it out, it's bennettfeely.com. So B-E-N-N-E-T-T-F-E-E-L-Y.com. Uh, and when you head down, you this is his homepage, you scroll down to Clippy and we simply uh, click on that and we get this tool here. Now, what I'm going to show you, I'm actually not going to get into this straight away, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create uh, these shapes for your um, for objects on your website. Now, if you already know CSS, then uh, this will be pretty easy for you. It's still useful, depending on whether you are an absolute beginner or whether you're advanced, you're going to find this pretty easy. First of all, I'm going to actually dart back. I've got um, this page here I've got open, just like a little editable page. I'm going to add in a block, a cover block here, and um, I can say make give it a purple background. Uh, or if I want to, I can you know, add media to the background. So this is just a little test site I have here. So maybe I want to add this on there or just add this nice dark background on there. And I'm going to write a title. It will be something like, you know, hi, like our thing. And I'm going to add a button. Add a button. Sign up. Now, this is just, just to demonstrate. So it doesn't need to be too perfect. Uh, but you do sort of get the idea that uh, how it works. I'm going to sort of align this center. All right, so we've got our little um, little cover box here. And what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've got this block selected. Make sure you don't click on the blocks, the individual blocks in between, but select the background here. Um, you're going to find there's um, different options with this, but um, you know you can play with that to get it looking the way you want. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to advanced on these block settings, and I'm going to give this a name. You can call it whatever you want, but let's just call it shape. Shape one. Gonna... Let's actually say uh, one thing. I have had trouble actually using numbers in CSS titles from the past, so I just type in. The letters so shape one i'm going to call this and i'm going to update this page and then we're going to view the page and you see here we got our little box here and this is the one we're going to actually apply our shape to so i'm going to go across now in this little clippy builder i can change the background here if i want to to something else I can make it semi-transparent. So you can actually, if you have a shape you want to trace, you can simply trace that shape. Now this is a bit more of a square shape compared to what we're working with. So I'm going to knock this up to about 600. And that sort of gives us a better idea of the shape we're working with. Now straight away, we've got a few options such as a message here, um, X, frame. We can make all, we can go straight in and use some of these and then we can even edit some of the points and change them where we want. But one of the most impressive things is actually the custom polygon, where you just simply draw a shape and go from there. So it, it's there's not a hell of a lot to this. Um, you pick a shape and edit it, or hit custom polygon and get started. So I'm gonna start by simply drawing something. Maybe it's just like a bit of an odd shape. And that's pretty much it. Now, if I keep clicking, it will keep adding shapes, I've noticed. So I do, if you keep going, you sort of only get one shot at this, uh, by the looks of it, possibly, although, there we go. You can grab bits and pieces and move around after that. So, yeah, I haven't played with this a hell of a lot, but it does, it is, it is pretty handy. Um, sort of once you've got that completed, you can sort of hit tick and simply move some, some things around. And then of course you can remove a point. Uh, I don't know if you can add points in after it's already done, unfortunately. 
but you do get the idea. So we've got a, we've got a nice little custom shape here. If you spend enough time, you can get something looking really the way you want it. Um, if you know how many points it has, I would recommend going, so obviously from a four point object to a five point pentagon, six point, seven point, and you can simply do it that way if you want to. But let's say we want something like this that's a little bit different. Um, maybe you want this cool little, like a, just a, a bit of a weird dig in effect somewhere. So let's say I've got these three points here and I want this just to poke in at the side for no reason. We've got our path that's basically ready to go. Now, um, basically, this is the code down here we want to use. So I simply click down here. I'm going to copy all of this. Right click and copy. And then I'm going to go back to my... All right, so I'm on my page here. This is not the edit page because we've already given our uh, box a, uh, a class, which was shape one. So in order to add custom CSS to, to WordPress, all we have to do is go to customize and it's a standard WordPress feature these days, so it's pretty handy. We scroll down to additional CSS. As you can see, I actually have tested this before the video, so just ignore that. Uh, I'm gonna type in dot, which is uh, everything that's, that is a class has a dot in front of it, shape one. So even though we only put shape one into the class on the editor, we put dot shape one here and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna use a curly bracket. Now WordPress automatically puts an end bracket on it, so I'm gonna hit enter. And you wanna make sure you use the curly bracket sort of with the little points in them. And then in here, we simply paste our code. And you can see now we have this cool shape on our object. So that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, like I said, if you know basic CSS, it's pretty handy. But um, yeah, it's, it's just a, a handy um, sort of website, handy tool you can use to just to get some custom effects. Now you might only want something basic. You might only want to move one or two points around. It does work on percentages. So as the box scales, it tends to scale the effect to whatever shape the box is. Also, don't forget to hit publish uh, when you're done. Head up here, click publish if you're happy and uh, it'll then be live on your website. But yeah, essentially that's how, how it works and how you can get some cool uh, custom shapes onto objects on your website. So yeah, hope you found that video useful. Um, also, if you did, please give the video a like. If you want more like this, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, uh, hope to see you again soon and have a great day. See you later.